Hi, I'm Carlos Sainz, and this is my corner. There's too little to celebrate in this horrible world of Australian politics, so let me straight up welcome, indeed allow me to hail, the decision of billionaire mining magnate Clive Palmer to stand for pre-selection for the Liberal National Party for the seat of Lilly, challenge the Treasurer Wayne Swan. Finally someone's willing to stand up to the bullshit of politics, which is far too long has had not one ounce of honesty in it. Someone is actually willing to say, the Liberal Party, fucking choice party of the discerning Australian billionaire, too long had a bunch of puppets run it for them. Finally a billionaire is willing to stand up and say, I've had enough of this shit. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm actually going to step up to the plate. Enough of these puppets doing the union bashing and the environmental green tape cutting and the dull bludger kicking and the divide and rule racist policy implementing and the corporate handout, handy outing. I'm going to do it myself. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm doing it myself. I mean, it's their fucking country. I say, why stop at just Clive Palmer? Let's get a liberal dream team together. Let's not just stop a Palmer going for treasurer. Let's get the people who actually run this country to challenge those who merely pretend to. Seriously, let's get Twiggy Forrest. Let's get him to challenge Martin Ferguson for mining. Let's get Rupert Murdoch to go up against Conroy, the so-called media minister. And of course, let's have Gina Reinhart challenge the arts minister, Simon Crean. We all know her poetry is better. Personally, I'm really hoping it comes off because I am a pretty big fan of Clive Palmer. He's a man who reacted with fury when Wayne Swan said he had too much power because of his wealth, yet calls a press conference and like that the entire media turn up. Here's a man who whines endlessly about the damage being done to this country by so-called alarmists, extremists, environmentalists, then claims that they're a CIA conspiracy to destroy Australia's economy. Here's a man who whines ceaselessly about any attempt to get him to pay taxes, any at all. His main private company, Mineralogy, hasn't paid tax for three years. I'm um, seriously, this guy is so good at being a bastard billionaire, if he didn't exist, Green Left would have to invent him. I'm waiting for a friend to call me and say, Carlo, I got you Clive Palmer for your birthday this year, you know, for your rants. What I want you to do is next time someone says that capitalism rewards natural talent and intelligence, Picture Clyde Palmer. Do that for me. I'm Carlo Sands, and that has been my corner.